For black female students, the only housing was miles away, accessible by foot in the most undesirable parts of West Lafayette. But my sister and I came to Purdue in 1946, and we could not live on the campus. Frida's father, Fred Parker, sent a letter to President Hovde seeking on-campus housing for his daughters. Hovde denied their admission to the dormitory. Disheartened, Mr. Parker then sought out Fabrin de France, secretary of the colored branch of the Senate Avenue YMCA in Indianapolis and a black power broker. On behalf of the Parker girls, he assembled a motley crew of concerned citizens to pay a visit to an old friend, Indiana Governor Ralph Gates, who in turn pressured Purdue. We received a letter from the Dean of Women who did everything she could to discourage us from coming and living on the campus, short of telling us how unhappy we would be and how the people wouldn't speak to us and, oh, you know, the same old thing all the time. We didn't believe him anyway. So uh, we were admitted to the dormitory. The spring semester of 1947 marked the end of housing discrimination at Purdue. Along with the four newest colored residents of Bunker Hill were the Parker girls. <laughs> 